and welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Aries. Let's call in spirit with so much time. Sorry, I had a brain fart there in the middle of the word. <laughs> All right, Aries, I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. It's beautiful here in Minneapolis, so I'm hopeful I can get some nature time in today. I think today we're going to start with, let's see... I'm feeling drawn to the situations deck, so we'll start there. What do we have for Aries today? I hope you're all proud of me for thinking to wear a red dress for you. Match the board. <laughs> Very fireside. I feel like a, a little bit of a picnic table today, but that's all right. All right, let's see. The first card out is anxiety. Somebody is, I just heard the word exposed, feeling like somebody has information on them and they're nervous about how it's going to play out. The next card out is family. All right, and then we have happiness. I feel like there's somebody here who is struggling a bit with perhaps needing to have a conversation with it could be family members it could also be like really close like friends of yours but there's something here about wanting to make a change based on what makes you happy but feeling concerned about talking to the people that you're close to it may impact them so for some of you for example this could be You've decided you'd like to move out of state, but you're really nervous to talk to your parents about it because you don't want to, you know, upset them if you're moving away from them, right? Let's do my fairies. And we also have drastic, extreme harsh cutoff and access granted. So We'll get one more. I feel like this is somebody who you have cut off or decided to not really communicate with as consistently and you may have even blocked them but this person is finding alternate ways to get information on you. They could have a fake profile or they could be catfishing you. And then we have crushed in the reverse. I think this is about somebody who really wants to see you upset and they're disappointed to see that you're moving towards your happiness. So it seems like this is a good person for you to cut off. <laughs> yeah. Drama queen. I would cut them off too, I don't blame you. This is somebody who is trying to be a roadblock for you. They may be jealous, they may be somebody who feels like you have excluded them from something they felt entitled to. And we have interview. Yeah, I definitely feel like what's causing anxiety here probably for you Aries but it could also be um, that you're you know somehow related to this but not the main character here there is a conversation that's coming up and it's definitely causing anxiety we have focused uh, I feel like there are a lot of people looking at you Aries or you know whoever you're potentially dealing with they're looking at you kind of like shook a little bit like how are you doing this maybe you were really consistent in terms of kind of being a little bit self sacrifice -y, right like doing things that make your family happy doing things that make other people happy and sacrificing you know things you wanted to do maybe you wanted to move maybe you wanted to change jobs but there's been a change here and it's causing people to watch they're not really sure what to expect 
but I feel like you have to have a conversation here that's making you un uncomfortable. So we have on the table coming out to clarify drastic. This feels to me like somebody was in a serious relationship and they had to end it very quickly. Like one day you're, you know, lovers and best friends and then the next day you have to fucking, you know, move out and block them on 17 platforms. And I feel like the person that you had to cut out of your life is in complete denial, right? So that could be why they're trying to watch you. They don't want to feel like there's any distance between you. But I definitely feel like there's eyes on you, like more than just one person. This person could also be pretending that everything's fine. So if this was, say, a relationship that had, you know, a couple of endings and beginnings, this person could be kind of deluding themselves that even though you've made it very clear, like, I'm fucking done, like, they might still think, hey, I have an opportunity here to mend things, but I don't see that as a thing. <laughs> what else do we have for Aries, please? This is the Marigold Tarot. I love this one because it has skeletons in it. And first out, we have the Five of Rings in the reverse. That's the Five of Pentacles in this deck. And it's one of the few cards I enjoy seeing in the reverse because this is actually talking about somebody who is feeling like they're coming in from the cold. It's an interesting card to pull because this is clearly about somebody ending something here. But what I think is really happening is you may have an end of a relationship that enables one party to reconnect with somebody that maybe they felt like they had to distance themselves from because they were in a relationship. You know, like if you have um, somebody that maybe there's a little bit of like chemistry or a little bit of sexual tension and you start that relationship and you want to be respectful, maybe things kind of get like a little bit less connected or communicative. I feel like with the Six of Rings coming out right after that or Six of Pentacles, there's somebody here who's looking to balance the scales. Here we have the Eight of Wands coming out next. This is such an interesting depiction of the Eight of Wands. Most of these cards are going to show you eight wands like flying through the air, like javelin style. But with this being, like it makes me feel like more so it's about news or announcements and less about like that back and forth kind of energy. So I feel like one thing that you want to maybe be mindful of is if you have an announcement, say you start a new relationship, right? I would try to avoid having any, like, social media announcements knowing that there might be somebody watching you, right? You might cause drama if you announce this because they are so intent on watching you, and then that could, you know, lead to things you don't really want to deal with. So I think this Eight of Wands is really about if you are feeling like somebody is trying to be a roadblock to your happiness, don't give them information that makes their job easier, right? Then we have the Nine of Cups coming out to clarify this offer that was on the table. I feel like someone found out that the relationship that they we're about to like really make official here was less meaningful to the other person than they had been led to believe which is maybe a weird way to say it but I feel like what's really coming out here is 
one person was trying to find wish fulfillment in a rather sneaky way. It's like, almost like a placeholder. Like someone wanted to get to a certain place in their life, i.e. married, and it may not have been like the perfect fit, but you know, hey, at least it'll help me afford the house I wanna live in or some bullshit like that. And I think this other person saw this partner for who they were and it led to a very quick ending. This could have come across as just like a lack of loyalty or a lack of being on the same page in terms of how you should communicate or approach a serious relationship. This is the Wheel of Fortune coming out in the reverse. This is clarifying denial. I think somebody could even be potentially like a narcissist because what I'm really getting here is somebody doesn't seem to understand the error of their ways or that they have you know, done something that they could have done better or that they've hurt somebody. It's kind of like this person isn't really familiar with accountability. They don't really know. They don't know how to handle someone calling them out on their shit or having consequences. Like, I'm literally hearing Garuk Assault right now, <laughs> which is a Willy Wonka reference. And she was like the really spoiled girl who wanted the golden egg. I feel like somebody here saw a person that they thought they could manipulate, manipulate or use for money. Then we have the Nine of Swords coming out. This person is going to see some difficult times ahead because of their actions and how they treated somebody who really was trying to make like a serious effort on the relationship. This energy who is pretending is going to be plagued with regrets and hopefully actually go through some healing in terms of like, how did I bring this on myself, right? Like I should have approached this with a more compassionate or genuine heart with honesty, perhaps, Ace of Swords coming out. This is clarifying the Five of Rings in the reverse. So I feel like, I feel like honesty was a, a really important part here that the person who walked away felt like their partner wasn't honest with them. And it led to some pretty significant boundaries being put in place because when you've been hurt and you know that somebody isn't going to be honest with you, it's really hard to feel safe or comfortable in that situation. So then we have the King of Swords coming out in the reverse. So we could have an air sign since we have Queen of Swords, King of Swords coming out basically together, but they're not on the same page, right? This is also sometimes when these folks come out together, this is indicative of somebody who's gone through a recent divorce. So that could be why we have the swords coming out in spades. Because <laughs> um, we literally have Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. So we do have the King of Swords in the reverse. So it could be for the majority of you, the person who has been dishonest is the masculine energy here. But it doesn't have to be because, of course, gender, we have to keep in mind, tarot is not really hung up on gender like our, our society is. So um, we all have masculine and feminine within us, so this could be anyone, but this King of Swords energy is somebody who is prone to leveraging information in a way that would have been manipulative. So this is somebody who is quite comfortable with lying. It wouldn't have just been, you know, little white lies. There would have also been probably attempts to gaslight. Which is too funny. Literally, I think right before this, I was listening to know the product and she has a song called Gaslight. So a little bit of a precursor for your reading. All right, let's see. 
And now we have the Ten of Rings coming out to clarify the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is really speaking to the idea that it wasn't the companionship or the love or even like the idea of building a family here that was really important to somebody. It seems like really they just wanted financial stability. And I'm kind of getting like someone to like take care of the lame responsibilities, right? Like I don't want to do dishes, you do dishes, that kind of bullshit. Ugh. <laughs> And we have the Ace of Wands. That's two aces in this bottom row for you, Aries. I'm pretty excited. And I also love how they depict the Ace of Wands in this deck. It's a rose. And I really do feel like what that means is we've got somebody here who has been taught a lesson in love, right? The thorn on the rose has clearly taken a piece out of this person that was a little too focused on money and what they could get out of a relationship instead of what they could put into it. But I also feel like what we have here is a Queen of Swords finding a new beginning with somebody else because this Queen of Swords has now improved the boundaries and knows better what to avoid in terms of uh, love interest. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Another card that I like to see in the reverse. I feel like this is commenting on the fact that this feminine energy has had a longer period of time to deal with the situation, perhaps let go or disconnect from this relationship. So it feels to me like she's already made quite a lot of progress in terms of healing. And the other person in this relationship has some healing yet to finish. I feel like this person, this masculine, hasn't really fully come to grips with the idea, right? We've got denial coming out. Um, fully comes to grips with the idea that, like, this is an ending, like a, an actual ending. <laughs> All right, there's a couple more cards here for Aries. If this is resonating for you, uh, give me a like or a subscribe, please. Ooh, Knight of Wands. So we have somebody here who is motivated to make a move away from a community. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody who does not want to have a reunion with their past love. And quite frankly, it looks to me like they're rejecting a community. Now, this could be the family at large, right? If you married into a family and you're exiting out of it. But it could also be that somebody is literally moving. We have the hanged man coming out sideways, which is delightful. Um, we've got somebody here who doesn't know how to handle the situation. I feel like this is somebody who just doesn't get told no, and you're not taking their shit. So they're like, but <laughs> I don't, what? Every, everybody takes my shit. I don't, I don't know how to operate now. <laughs> and we have the Knight of Cups clarifying the Ten of Rings. I feel like there's a different opportunity coming forward for you that will give you another path to that stability that you were looking for. This could be an actual, like, secret admirer coming forward and, you know, wanting to invest in you. Or this could literally be just an opportunity for you to Take some time to yourself, right? We have the Seven of Pentacles coming out in the reverse. This is telling me, especially because we have the Wheel of Fortune in the same column, that karma is literally playing out right now. There are still some things that have yet to be delivered. <laughs> um, there, I feel, is still a significant amount of justice waiting for this um, Queen of Swords character. Then we have the Page of Cups. And I feel like it's an actual love offer. Because now we have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. So basically I feel like when you reestablish those boundaries, you defended them, you walked away from the bullshit, you blocked the toxic people, you told the universe, I have a space for somebody who's actually fucking serious. 
So, what you got, universe? Send them my way. <laughs> and now you've got someone coming in. So, Aries, I hope you enjoyed the reading and that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for the support.